Hello there everyone, today's video is all about the basis reform periods which are now in place. What am I talking about? I'm talking here particularly and specifically to sole traders and partnerships. If you're a director, a shareholder of your own limited company, an SME, don't worry about this. This is purely for those who are self-employed or partners in a partnership who pay income tax. What has happened is this, is that for decades, such businesses have been able to choose what year end they have. So you have a January, February, March, April, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what year end you have. Basically, the rules said, though, that um, you will pay tax based on the 12 months up to the year end that ended in a particular tax year. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's just take an example of 30th of April. So if your year end ended on the 30th of April 2022, so the 12 months ended on the 30th of April 2022, that forms the basis the basis period of your tax for the 2022-23 tax year. Now, of course, the 22-23 tax year ends on the 5th of April 2023. But we're saying that you're paying the tax based on your profits up to the 30th of April 2022, your year end. So, goodness me, those extra 11 months, you don't have to pay tax on them until the following year. And this is how it's been for decades. There's always been this lag, this timing lag when HMRC gets their money. And so what you tend to found when you crunch the numbers, which is pretty easy to do, is that if you're starting out as a sole trader or partner, you would always choose April the 30th because that's the year end date that gives you the longest lag in terms of paying tax on your profits. OK, particularly if you're a growing business, that second, third year when things start to take off, you're kicking down the road your tax bill perfectly legitimately. And that's what thousands and thousands of uh, particularly professional service firms like lawyers and accountants have all got. Surprise, surprise, 30th of April year ends. Now, HMRC sort of had a look at this recently, well, a few years ago, um, and they said, look, we're not getting our hands on the money quick enough here. So all the profits that those guys, in my example, were earning between 30th of April 22 and 5th of April 23, we're getting it <laughs> like an extra year down the line. So they said, look, we're going to change the basis period rules, which basically means that businesses will now be taxed up to the point, up to that date, 5th of April in the tax year, regardless of what their accounting year end is. So, let's just have a look at some numbers. Like I said, 30th of April year end, year end of the 30th of April 22 forms the basis of the 22-23 tax year because the year end point lands, that's the date it lands in that tax year. But 30th of April 2023, so this is the change, the tax year we're in right now, 23-24. So, year ended 30th of April 23, under the old rules, you pay tax on that 12 months worth of profit in the 23-24 tax year. But, changing the rules, changing this basis period they call it. So HMRC say, aha, but we also want profits, 11 twelfths of your profits in the following year in this tax year. So the year ended 30th of April 2024 will take this fraction here, which is the number of days to the 5th of April, 341 over 366, which is basically 11 twelfths, and we'll have that in this tax year. So you're getting hit, if you're in this position, this transitional year, you're getting hit for 23 months worth of profit. 12 months under the old rules, if you were, the, end, the year end in that year tax year, plus this 11 months, 23 months. But it's not all bad news because go back to when you first set out in business and you chose this April year end to defer the point at which you paid tax on increasing profits. You would have also paid tax twice on the same profits, just the way that it works. So, yes, it delays the point at which you pay tax for increasing profits, 
but you're also paying tax twice on the same income stream. And that is called overlap profit. And that overlap profit, if you had a 30th of April year end, it's always the number of months between the 30th of April and the following 5th of April, 11 months. So when you switch to these new rules, you are now getting relief for that overlap profit. Though That 11 months that you paid tax twice on way back when, could have been 10, 20 years ago, you're getting relief now. So that, yes, you're going to get taxed on 23 months worth of profit to the 5th of April 2024, but then you knock off 11 months of tax that you, uh, 11 months of profit that you paid tax twice on God knows how many years ago, 11 months, so you still come back to being taxed on 12 months worth of profit. The only problem is, of course, that <laughs> that's, you might say, well, that's great, what's the problem if it's 20, if it's 12 plus 11 minus 11 still comes back to 12. It does, but of course, you'd like to think that your business has gone like that in the 5, 10, 15, 20 years since you first set up in business, so that this overlap profit, this 11 months, is a hell of a lot less than the 11 months here that you're earning right now, uh, which it would be the case. I mean, let's, you know, this could be, you could have made 10 grand in your first year, you could be making 150 grand now. So, you know, there's a big difference. So, yes, in theory, you're still being taxed on 12 months in the transition year now, but I would suggest nine out of 10 or 99 out of 100 times, the profit for many of these uh, sole traders and partners will be a lot bigger now than it was in year one of their business. So, that what does that mean? That means a huge tax bill. A huge tax bill in this 23-24 tax year. Thankfully, HMRC have said, look, we appreciate all this and we, we, we're bringing this in to accelerate um, cash receipts, change the rules. It's a cash flow thing, basically, because the country needs the money. But they say, look, we accept that this 11 months worth way back when is probably a lot less than the 11 months worth right now. So the tax due on this additional bit, not the regular amount, but the additional bit, you can spread it. You can spread it over five years. So that's welcome relief, um, you know, to soften the blow of these these rules. But basically, that's these, these rules are in now. So this has been... Um, you know, we knew this was coming for several years now, but it's actually, it's live right now. We're in the 23-24 tax year. So uh, this, this applies to all partners and all self-employed people who have a year end other than 31st of March or 5th of April. Um, and I would suggest many have the 30th of April, which is the worst case for bringing in these new rules because you've got the most uh, period that you're going to be paying tax on 23. If you had a May year end, you're talking about 10 months overlap, a June year end, nine months. Uh, but like I said, most people chose, quite rightly, to go with 30th of April on day one because it was that long lead time into paying tax on rising profits. So there you go. So just an overview there on changes in the basis period we're in. Right now, it's applicable for this tax year, 23, 24. It's probably going to result in an increased tax bill than it would have done if, you, if they hadn't have brought in the rules. But thankfully, there is this five years to ease the burden, spread the payments. If you like this video, please do subscribe. And as always, see you soon.